spasms. It's been pouring down rain, y'all, and Frank has not went outside at all. He refuses to go outside. You getting your blanket basket? Okay, my friend. Good night. Sweet dreams. I don't know what to do. Because I know he has to go potty. He hasn't potty since, what, like 1 a.m.? My poor, poor baby. I don't know what to do. Give me tips and tricks. Give me tips and tricks on how I can um, take my dog outside of the room. I tried the no leash thing just now where usually when it's raining without a leash, he'll just go. But it did not work this time. The neighbor came out and Frank was just staring at the neighbor. The neighbor came out and then they went back in and then they came out again with a hoodie. I guess they also didn't know it was pouring down rain. But it's been pouring down rain since we woke up. And then we went, we fell back asleep. And then I laid in bed. I usually lay in, lay in bed. If Frank doesn't wake me up, I lay in bed until he wants to get up. If you don't have pot, putty pads, girl, he will not go on a puppy pad. <laughs> I have plenty of them. But even when I was in the hospital and he was with me, um, when I had that like horrible UTI, if you guys remember, um, he did not go on the puppy pads in there either. So I'm like, dude, like you have to go potty, but he's just refusing to. So I'm like, I don't know what to do. Yeah, Mary, I mean, he'll hold it too, but it's been since like 1 a.m. And it's 10 a.m. here, so it's like, you have to go. And obviously, I don't want to fully take him out there, because then when he gets in all of like the mud and the puddles, um, it irritates his paws, so it's like a lose-lose. Take a treat with you. No, it, that will not work. Frank will just be like, bitch, I, I don't care. I've tried little dog boots. Hi, Andy. Where's your boyfriend? I have no idea. Maybe put an umbrella over him. Janelle, he will not. How will that work? Am I going to hold the umbrella over pavement? I can't just follow him into the grass. Then we'll both be stuck out there because your girl is going to get stuck in her wheelchair. But on another note, I woke up to some great messages and I went and watched the replay myself all the way through almost. And then it became off track a little bit. So there's that. It's not the coat. It's just, <sighs> I can put on a coat. I can put on a shirt on him. It's just, he will not go out there when it's raining. He'll hold it as long as he can and potty in the house. Oh, well, at least mine won't go potty in the house. My dog will literally... Oh, shit. Hold it. It's crazy. Like, he will not. But anywho, did you guys catch that beautiful light about me this morning? Let me know down below if you were able to catch it. I'd love to know your opinion on it. Did you guys see her? Did you see her live this morning? Oh, I gotta take my salmon out. So I can start defrosting. Did you guys see that nonsense? Good morning, Michelle. Um, we're gonna make some hard boiled eggs. I don't have bacon, so I don't wanna make a bacon, bacon egg and cheese bagel without the bacon. Um, I hate when 
you sleep with your hair tie and then it leaves that. <sighs> Let me turn off my guest requests. Um, but we're going to use some basil pesto. And then we're going to use a bagel. And then we're going to make some um, soft boiled eggs or hard boiled eggs. It doesn't really matter. <sighs> um, and then we're going to use a tomato. That's going to be our breakfast sandwich with some grapes. I have a lot of grapes to eat. And then later on in the afternoon, I'm going to make myself a blueberry raspberry smoothie with some, maybe I'll add some strawberries to it. I don't know. Good morning, Le Lena, Lena. How do I say your name, girl? Lena, 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 Lena. Um, but yeah, so apparently I'm an all right citizen. And I'm boring. Because when I was visiting Jess and Liam, I was going to bed before them. It's crazy. I can never please anyone. Ever. I mean, I please Liam all the time. We are BFFs. I think, honestly, she thinks I'm boring because she knows I'm going to steal Liam from her. So I think she's trying to, like, make the idea of me being boring be like lame so liam's like oh yeah she is boring but liam doesn't think i'm boring maureen i don't like those i like just the red grapes do you guys think that's what's going on i mean think about it if i was so boring why would liam be on my lights all the time It's so weird looking at me with short hair. I have to get my beauty sleep. She's just mad because in order to look this beautiful, I just have to go to sleep like two or three hours earlier. Hello, good morning, Natasha. Um, yes, girl, a girl. Why does it matter to anyone when you go to bed? It matters to her. Because apparently I've been abducted by aliens. And I just shouldn't go to bed the time frame that I go to bed. They're used to me going to bed at like 2, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. Outside with Liam. Making handshakes left and right. Handshakes, I don't even remember, but Liam's does. But Liam remembers them, but I don't. I also never remember running over people's feet. Dude, when I'm drunk, it's like... All I see is just... I don't see my peripheral vision. I'm just like, I just gotta go forward. Because I'm on wheels. You know what I mean? <clears throat> you were abducted. Free Anya. I am pinning that. Oh, I want it. Let me pin it. Pin comment. See what I mean? She honestly thinks. You're being good. You get shit. Can't do nothing right. I can't, Kelly. She honestly thinks that I've been abducted. Little does she know that I am just preparing and saving all of my energy for my sail around the seven seas trip. She just doesn't know that. They're used to coming to find you in the morning in your shoes. That happened one time. One time and they won't let me live that down. With Charlie. And they also don't mention that they went and rescued Harrison that night too. Well, there was a lot going on there, but it happened one time and they won't let me live that down. I have yogurt all, all over my lips. She's stalking you. I think so. Because honestly, if you thought I was abducted by aliens, why would you have me in your home? Because then I could just like, the aliens could have me so like mind. What is that when people like mind control you? Is that what it is? 
is leaving your brother again and the baby daddy. He reversed his vasectomy for me, but don't tell Jess. So that I could have his baby. Not canceled, Charlie. This was a different Charlie. This is a completely different Charlie Karen. From Hawaii, hello, what part? So, I just don't understand. You know, it's just like, what do you want from me, woman? What do you want from me? I can't make you happy, so you make Liam happy. I did get both my tires switched and fixed. So that's my plan now. And that's just the plan that's, that's going to be the plan for all of eternity. Brainwashed? I think brainwash is not when an alien abducts you. Is it? Because you're not technically brainwashed. You're just, your brain is just in control currently. Brainwash is just like, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Help me here. And then also, let's talk about the fact that she said she couldn't let Leek Sterling with me in the early days. Girl, Sterling is my child. You should be lucky I leave him with you. What are you talking about, woman? Who's Josh? Who's Josh, girl? Let's talk about that. That I leave my child with you every single day. Okay? I gave you my child. Yeah, I feel like it's like mind control. Fourth was created mainly by all of you guys that just see like something and then run with it and then you guys are surprised that we play along with it <clears throat> you guys do realize that why are we talking about Jessica like this because have you seen have you seen her and her red hair She was wearing the right nightcap this morning. Whore. You are a whore to be around because you're boring. That's what she doesn't realize. I've become boring because she's been boring to be around. She thinks I'm the problem. She's the problem. And little does she know, this is all an act. I'm only pretending to be boring so that she lets her guard down and then BAM! Me and Liam are able to run off and be together forever and live happily ever after. Oh my gosh, I thought I sliced my finger. That felt like a... That, you know when you slice your finger and you feel like that's... and then like the, like the hotness? That's what that felt like. I literally thought I just sliced my finger. Her hair looks gorgeous. Does it though? Remember when I had red hair? No, I'm not rooting for the lions. Remember when I had red hair, Jessica? Funny. Funny. You guys aren't friends. We were never friends. It's because you won't join Jess's cult, you see? She's tried to make me join her cult numerous times, but you guys have freed me. Golf Shorts is beautiful. You are very much correct. Yeah. So be mad at me all you want for saving my energy, but I know why I'm saving my energy and I know the plan. It's a joke. Y'all take stuff too seriously. This is for real as for real gets. 
Where's Josh? I don't know, Nancy. When you find him, let me know. This has been going on with y'all for three plus years. It's not going to change. It's definitely something there. The, what do you mean? The fact that she literally does not realize that I am plotting against her. We have been caught. Somebody already spilled the tea to her, so I can spill it now. Jessica is spoiled. I am coming to get you. Well, I mean, I'm not coming to get you. I'm coming to get Liam and Sterling. Right, April. Don't you all get that? I mean, you guys literally preach how smart you are and how you have all these sources and you know all my deepest and darkest secrets. Hello? Where's your source now? Where's your source to tell me? See what, see what you did there? Oh, these are adorable. It was upside down and nothing spilled out. Where's your source to tell me what catamaran Liam's buying for us to sail the seven seas? Where's your source to tell me how much his reverse vasectomy cost? Huh? Where is it? Where is it? Where's your source now? Where's your source now to tell me when I was abducted? Where is it? Where are all these sources? Because look, it's not your source telling you all these facts. It's me. So your source sucks. Just saying, if I had a source like yours, boring. Me and Liam are twins, yes, but we were born two years apart. But don't tell anyone. Hmm? Where's your source now? I want to know. You guys, my forehead and my lips are so dry. I don't know what's going on. Where's your source now? Pretty quiet over there in Sourceville, isn't it? Pretty quiet. Because you're just probably, your source is probably shook. That I'm letting all these secrets out. I mean, we've already been caught. So what can we do now? She's already caught us. You guys already freaking told her about my live at my parents' house. <sighs> Didn't even take a whole 24 hours, and she already knew mine and Liam's plan to sail the seven seas. I mean, honestly, we asked Sterling when we were there if he would like to live on a boat. He's all for it. So I have the approval. I know, Leah, but it's so dry. Like, every time I, like, go like this, I can feel it. Like, you can hear it I feel like and yes uh yeah Melissa how how have y'all not known that yay Rara I'm so happy so I put some basil pesto on my bagel like this and then we're gonna cut up some tomato I'm dead just this is just the truth you guys you guys try to sit there and listen to her lie through her teeth and her luscious lips and you guys don't even understand don't even understand. It's like that one show, the 600 pound life sisters or whatever, or thousand pound life sisters. You don't understand how it feels, Amy. That's how I feel when I'm around Jess. I just want to scream. You mad at Jessica? Girl, this is beyond mad now.
I don't have the almond lippy, but you'll have to send me what it looks like. Can't believe you're telling all the secrets from supporters. Well, all the sources and the leaks are telling on me, so I might as well just try to save myself a little bit. I don't know what else to do. I've run out of I've run out of ways to pretend and hide. She's catching on to me and it's just it's become too much. It's become too much, you guys. I'm raging. This is a skit. This is real life. No one understands that everything on the internet is real. Maureen, it shattered in pieces. I don't know, Lacey, you tell me. It shattered in pe- oh shit. I should have gotten a bigger knife. So we're just gonna, gonna put that right on the sandwich, okay? Filing for full custody. Well, we did write to Judge Judy. Well, Liam did. We are awaiting her response. So be patient with us. We have lost our minds, but it's okay. Oh my God. That's a wonderful idea. Delete your comments so that she can't see it because she stalks me. We have a star party. Can we complete her? Because Jess thinks we can never complete star parties when we're together. She thinks she's the, she's on the leaderboard above me. We gotta get on the leaderboard above her so she knows where she stands in real life. So if you guys have 20 stars or 10 stars. Let's all work together for the star party. We have four minutes. Thank you, Lexi. Thank you, Christine. Wow. See that, Jess? We're literally one fifth of the way there to this completing the star party. Take that. Yeah. Yeah, Judge Judy, we wrote to her. We also wrote to Jerry Springer. But obviously, that didn't really work out. Thank you, Jessica. Um, the brand is Rana. R-A-N-A. -A. Rana. Thank you, Chris. Wow, a third of the way there. Take that. Where's my basil pesto? I put it away. Did her and Liam break up? Not publicly, but we are working on it. Don't tell anyone. This is the brand I use. Thank you, Donna. You guys, we are almost halfway there. We have two minutes left. We have to complete the star party so that Jess knows we're better than her. Good morning, Nettie. Am I saying your name correctly when I say that? Is it Neri or Nettie? The audacity. April, thank you. Look, star. I'm a star. I'm a star. Woohoo! A freaking star. Yeah, you can't relate, Jess. Thank you, Christine. We only need just a little bit. We need this much amount of stars, just like the amount of boringness that is inside my soul when I'm around Jessica. Thank you, Jessica, for your stars. You guys, just that little teeny tiny bit. And we got her. Lock her when you have these conversations. I can't because her little 
spies come in here and they tell her everything. Her little minions that are in her cult, they know everything. Did Jerry Springer die or am I like delusional? Anybody know? We completed it. Take that, Jessica. I shouldn't even call you Jessica. What should I call you? Hmm. Hmm. Her minions. She's got loads of them. Little do you guys know you are a part of a cult and you don't even know it. Why do you think she hates me so much? Because she couldn't get me to join her cult. I was one of the free... I was one of the freed women's. She had me there for a year and then I freed myself. Exactly, Leah, but she will be qualified for this. Okay, he did die, okay. So I'm not like, see? At least the aliens didn't completely mind control and brainwash me. So she was never with her baby daddy. That's my baby daddy. She forced him to get a vasectomy so that we couldn't continue growing our family. But we are in the process of getting away from her, so he reversed it. But she doesn't know. He was reversed his vasectomy, and he's just pretending he hasn't. I spilled some water. She was never with him, and that's not her baby daddy. You guys can't believe everything you see on here. I know, we wrote to Jerry Springer, and then we realized, oh, well, I mean, technically, I don't know. Well, I mean, it's been a few years since this feud. It's just since we have added more characters. Look at this pimple, y'all. Ooh, maybe I should write to Judge Mathis, too. Hmm. It's a joke? Yeah, she is. Yeah, that's what we should call her. Jessica is jokes. Not Jessica is spoiled. Jessica is jokes, or Jessica the joke. Next time you see her live, go over there and hashtag Jessica the joke. Mm -hmm. You and Jessica have the same pimple. We don't have nothing the same. Don't even compare my beautiful pimple to that ugly pimple on her. Have you seen it? I'm outraged. Me too. Make sure you put me in there. Damn, my group chat is on fire. I'm just saying. If you're this crazy to believe what you hear, then, I mean, all kudos to you, friend. I'm just here to, I'm just here to tell you. I need to warm up my tea. We tried freeing you and then you went back. I'm telling you the power she has. The powers. Thank you, Daddy. And her problem is that you are beautiful, and I'm sorry, she's not pretty at all. 
The way she drinks is so weird. Janet, you know why she drinks like that? Because I drink like that. And she's not pretty because I stole all her beauty. Take that, Janet and Jessica. I think you should have stayed at Jessica's. No, she was starting to get in my head. Ooh. Ooh. I was going to bed early because I had to meditate and free my soul from the daily activities that she was putting me through to try to control me. I had to do this every night. Ooh. Free yourself. Free yourself. Talk about rubbing eggs on your body. Girl, we had to rub a whole chicken. Okay? We had to literally rub a whole chicken. The rooster too, bitch. Both them suckers. Just cock a doodle doo. Both the titties, the coochie, everything. When I tell you I had roost, I had feathers. In my butt crack from all the rubbing. There was feathers in my butt crack. <laughs> Liam liked it though. Just saying. The egg wasn't enough to take away the bad energy. We had to rub chickens. Whole chickens. I had to go to her neighbor and steal all the chickens because an egg just was not enough. We did not pluck them. I was not gonna let the chicken suffer for Jessica's. Powers. Not the feathers, girl, they were everywhere. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Janine, how are you? How's your niece, babe? Did everything go through? Okay. Not the cruelty. No cruelty. Save the chickens, okay? Hashtag free the chickens. Free the chickens. No chickens are safe. I mean, think about it. Every time she lets the fox hang out with us, the fox eats her, tries to nibble on her toes. Okay? The fox is trying to make her immobile. He's trying to eat her limbs because he knows how evil this woman is. Evil! Evil. Oh yeah, they do, girl. Like I said, like, the reason half of this shit is even talked about on live is because you guys make up these scenarios and we just go with them. Like, you guys put, the, put it in our heads and we just spin it better because we're better storytellers than you are. Sorry, not sorry. Uh, oh yeah, Patsy. So yeah, next time you see Jessica the joke live, hashtag, oh shit, hashtag free the chickens and hashtag Jessica the joke. I want to see all of you guys in there. Letting her know we know what she's on to. I'm Liam's sister, yes. I knew Liam before I knew Jess because we came out of the same. Sperm. I need to calm down, Todd. 
You need to calm down, Todd. You're gonna need more than popcorn, girl. You're gonna need a five course meal. Don't be tagging her in my video. Um, technically, I wouldn't be his sister wife. I would be her sister wife. Get it right, get it tight. As tight as me and Liam and Sterling and Jessica the joke are. So. I thought you were just really good friends. Makes sense, though. Makes sense that I'm Liam's sister? Yeah, it does. Definitely. He, uh, my brother would totally reverse his vasectomy for me to have a child. If he wasn't my brother and he reversed his vasectomy for me, that'd be a little freaking weird. Don't you think? Don't you think? That'd be a little strange. Look how good this looks. You can't tell me that you wouldn't charge $12 for this sandwich at a cafe. And I made it at my home. I have no idea how much it costs to make this. Less than $10 probably. I got the whole internet wound up. want many grapes so this will be enough doesn't it look so good and you guys like I said if you make bacon egg and cheese bagels put the pesto on it I told my neighbor that yesterday this is kind of like an avocado toast or whatever breakfast toast but pesto is in my opinion is so much better we're locks what's locks Also, in case you guys were wondering, um, I don't go to church. She lied. Oh, no, no, no. I don't go to church. She lied. I'm not a church goer. So... Think about that the next time you see her live. Think about that. She lied to you guys. I do need to start going to church though. To literally heal and free myself from the devil. forget to feed myself or just throw something together i need to learn to spend more time on myself i would if we were if i were cooking for others oh jen meal prep for yourself thank you monica for your stars i love you jacqueline you're the one that told her that so let me retract my steps here that's me stepping i'm sorry jessica the joke you're not a liar jacqueline's the liar Can't believe you, Jacqueline. Can't believe you. The audacity. Trying to make me. Oh, I had strawberries this whole time. Girl, what? Okay, well, we need to eat those. Girl, what? Um, I only walk on Tuesdays. If you knew your days of the freaking week, you would know today is Saturday. If you don't know the days of the week and you don't know what day it is, get the days of the week underwear. 
and hopefully you wear it on the right day. And if you don't, that's a you problem, homie. So no, I don't walk. Because it's not Tuesday. Yeah, Jacqueline set me up. Audacity of that bitch. And she said she had my back. Liar! Anyways, so yeah, that's my... That's my take on the situation. Now I have to get off here so I can eat and text my baby daddy and let him know that the woman he is residing with is a lunatic. Well, you're canceled, Mary. Where's Josh? I don't know, girl. We lost him. Hi, Leslie. If you find him, let me know, girl. My DMs are always open. Um... The underwear isn't helping. I see that. I hope all of you guys get your undies in order. And I will be seeing you on the next live. Abducted by aliens. Out.